One of the weapons of officers' special affairs is a constant reminder to the flock to cloak themselves religiously. I can, I had, we had endless orders come down. Have a Sunday service. Get, get, get someone to give a little. Uh, get a Sunday service. This, this is a pretense of work. <laughs> The religious cloaking was so vital to the church because who on earth would tolerate in any business the beating of staff, the body slamming, the punishment, the sleep deprivation? You would not last five weeks as a business treating employees like this. But this religious, look how they use the words, oh, ecclesiastical. <laughs> Ecclesiastical, my The joke of it all is that internally, with the internal conduct, it is anything but religious. This is a Frankenstein church. This is, this is a church of violence, a church of depriving and beating up and everybody snitching on everybody else and reporting an internal warfare that masquerades as a church. Right here, right now, I'm angry. Real angry. A weapon that Office of Special Affairs uses is their propaganda magazine called Freedom Magazine. And this used to be a journal of investigations. Now, they publish pictures of their enemies and use it to what they call a dead agent pack. A dead agent means to make someone dead in the water by showing how evil and bad they are. So this propaganda magazine, Freedom, for example, if, if a celebrity like Leah Romini wanted to step out, they would say, ah, she hasn't seen the Freedom magazine. We need to sit her down and give her Freedom magazine. I know people who've written to me who read Freedom Magazine and thought that was so out to lunch and so weird and so strange that they fled the church after reading it. It, it, it is a poison pen uh, invention. But it's an OSA tool. Another tactic of OSA is to use law enforcement in all countries to attack their enemies. They use a whispering campaign, they use their own laws on third party to call up law enforcement with false reports so that law enforcement are set up like little shooting ducks to go do their dirty work. Anyways, it was in there. It was like a little bit of smoke or whatever. London, there was a book by an author called Russell Miller, and it was not a favorable book on the church. So they called Scotland Yard and claimed he was an axe murderer. With Paulette Cooper, they got her fingerprints in an illegal manner and claimed she was a bomb terrorist, and they got the FBI to actually indict her. They put out libelous publications about me. They have sent letters saying that I will soon be in prison and saw the operation freak out and the attempts that had been made to put me in prison. They've sent false reports about me to the Justice Department, the District Attorney's Office, the IRS. As you know, all government agencies have to investigate all any complaints that they get. So then Scientology sends out a press release that I am under investigation by the Attorney General's office and under investigation by the DA and so on. Um, they have put detectives on me, they have put spies on me. Uh, a few months ago they put a, an attempted spy on my mother to try to get information about me via her. 
and to fix me up with the woman's son so that they could get direct to me. Uh, they canceled my plane to, well, somebody canceled my plane to Florida about a month ago, and that is the third time that's happened to me this year when I was traveling. In my case, let me tell you what they did to me. Within two weeks of me coming out of the church very publicly, they called up the FBI to say that I trafficked, trafficked in children for underage sex to my CPA. <laughs> I don't think they understand the lunacy. I was in the church 35 years and within, and they claim they give you these advanced spiritual states, but within days, of leaving a 35-year journey in the church, I became a trafficker for children for underage sex. So the FBI showed up at my CPA's house with another detective, and as soon as this interview was going nowhere, so the FBI said, does Karen de la Carrier have any enemies? They know how people set up. And my CPA said, oh, she just came out of the Church of Scientology swinging into, they literally had body language. They knew the dirty tricks of the church, anonymously calling up law enforcement to do dirty work, to do arrests, to do, just, it's just, it never goes anywhere. They, <laughs> the law depends on evidence courts depend on ever of course there's no evidence but it's done in a in a in a maniacal way it's it the church screams that anonymous is anonymous but they indulge in making anonymous phone calls anonymity is the trademark of the dirty tricks department of office of special affairs